Hello friends. Today I'll talk about set immediate. I'm going to explain how how under the hood it will going to work. But instead of only explain about set immediate, which can be a bit simple, but it will be more confusing to understand. I'll try to explain and contrast how it differ between various other process message handling when we talk about timeout, promise, nesting. And how all these different parts are different from each other. So this is the greeting function. Inside that we have written few lines of different code snippets. And the main entry point, the processing will start whenever we try to execute greeting function in this line. And this call stack is one of the central piece of JavaScript runtime. This is where the code execution will be managed or orchestrated. So this is the last in first out. LIFO. So let me explain how, what does LIFO means? So whenever it uh, <coughs> encounter greeting, then it will try to put this greeting function declaration into this call stack. But it won't going to remove that from this call stack. Because it's last in, first out. But greeting is the first in. It will stay till last point of time. When all the code executed from this call stack. Then only this greeting function will be removed from this call stack. After greeting, the first entry point would be the console log good morning. And this this also will be entered. So it would be entered into the call stack. Because this is a pure function which do some particular task. So it would be immediately printed into the console and removed from this call stack once the job is done. This is last in, but it does it what needs to be done. Then it will remove from this call stack. After that, it will encounter set timeout. The set timeout also, it will put into the call stack. Once it will call stack, it will put, then only it will try to process and try to make sense what it's supposed to do. And whenever it encounters set timeout, it will calculate this what is the time here. This time you can give one hour, one day or whatever maybe you like. But in this case, zero I given. So I want it to execute immediately. But instead of execution of immediately, this JavaScript runtime will start the timer. And because it is zero, so immediately it will put into the message queue. If you given like one hour, then I, this timer will start and this will, uh, this particular message will be stored into the memory. And it won't put that message into the message queue. So it will wait. Once one hour laps, then only this console log will, will put into the particular message queue. But because we have like zero, so it will immediately put into the uh, message queue. So it is available for it to process. But because this call star processing is, is going on, so this won't get executed immediately. So the, always this call stack will take the priority and this message queue will keep on waiting. So it won't get priority and it won't get proce process. So that message of console log, whatever may be the code, you may have one line console log or you may have 10 line code. It, it may have a additional code like calling to web service or whatever maybe you want to do. But all will be waiting into the message queue. And after that process, then this new promise will be similarly, it will be entered into the call stack. And it will try to create an instance of promise. And this promise is introduced in ES6 or ECMAScript 2015. So the behavior is slightly different whenever it encounter promise or async and await. The most important behavior is that this, because this promise is widespread use, so it want to give more priority to this particular promise handling because it on, on over this set timeout and other functionality. So if you put this into message queue, then it would get, get piled up. So it won't get priority. 
So instead of that, it created another queue known as job queue. But before we enter the job queue, so whenever we uh, this callback function will be you know a part of call stack only. So if we, if we put a console.log here, then it will be executed immediately on the part of call stack. But once in this particular resolve, ideally inside promise you can make a HTTP call or a database operation or file operation. So that will be triggered, and that uh, particular processing will hand over to kernel or operating system. So when that would be done, then that uh, it will call the callback function, and this callback function will be executed. But before that, once this new promise will be called, this particular callback will be executed immediately. So this result will be you know entered into the call stack, but it won't print anything. It is just triggering a result promise. So actually, console log is happening in the then level. So just to process it, it will move out from this call stack. Then it will try to understand that it have to put a callback function here, whatever is written in the then. So then we were returning promise here, the console log promise. So this particular line, instead of putting into this particular call stack, it will move to this job queue. This is a bit important to understand. And whichever code you have given to in this part of uh, in the body of a promise will be executed as part of this call stack. But whatever you are going to return and uh, trying to execute as part of then, that will be moved to the job queue. And once it will be removed, then this promise also will be out of the scope. Once this promise or the resolve, this callback function is moved to the job queue, then it will go to process this next uh, instruction. Whenever it encounters this process nesting, the first thing is that that particular code snippet it will again move to this call stack. So all the execution will happen into the call stack only. So once it will move here, it will see which callback to execute. So it encounter nesting. This nesting it will move to the another queue, that is known as nesting queue. And this process of nesting is not part, technically part of event loop, because the behavior of event loop like message queue, job queue is consistent across the browser engine, whichever the browser you use. But this process dot nesting is only specific to Node.js runtime. So once it will put to this nesting, it will be removed. But if you see this, none of them get executed. The code next week won't get executed. It will just put into another queue and just uh, keep on processing. Then it will see the set immediate. The set immediate also it will try to put it here. Now important part like set immediate. Whenever it encounters set immediate, it will also move to this particular, you know, call stack and see the set immediate and whichever the callback function is executed, it will move here into the message queue. Message queue. So wherever the timeout we put, same place we put in the set immediate message queue also. Then we'll remove from this particular entry. And after that, it will call this high. Then the high will be inserted into the call stack. Inside this high, there is another message which will enter into this call stack. So we need to print this high. It will be removed first then uh, th there is nothing to execute so it will be removed from this call stack nothing to execute uh, uh, this greeting will be also removed now this call stack is empty now important uh, concept to remember is that which one will take the priority so always remember this nesting is will going to take the priority and the event loop is not yet started this is our event loop guy so which will listen in the, to this particular queue but we have just completed this call stack processing and we are still part of that current iteration. After completion of everything, before this event loop start listening to this and picking the message, 
so this nest trick will be interrupt this is part of this current execution wherever you remove is part of that exercise only it is not part of the other event loop processing so in that case it will whichever the message available in the nest trick so it will be moved to you know uh, call stack then the nest trick will be printed and it will be removed from this uh, call stack so always remember that uh, whenever this message is going to process from nest trick it is once the call stack is unwinded or call stack is completed the first and foremost nest trick will be triggered and this is part of this current execution context or whichever the other like greeting hi who we are calling it is part of that execution chain so nest trick is the first priority always so once this call stack is winded up so nest trick will be going to call again now between this message queue and job queue this message queue also known as macro task queue and this job queue also known as micro task queue and these are FIPO queue fast in fast out so like in a movie ticket uh, you know you stand in a queue who is standing in the past they'll get this uh, first priority but this call stack is VIP culture if you enter the last but you'll get the first priority so once we finish this next tick now event loop will decide like i'll go to the message queue or job queue as we said this promise error async await is the priority one that's why this particular job queue is created so this will particular process this message here and this promise will be getting printed now job queue is empty now event queue will decide like which one will go here and this is a little bit uh, not the defined is not clear because here also we given zero and immediate also we given uh, both immediate and set timeout will behave exactly same they will be put into the message queue and one after another will be processed but if you execute sequentially there is no guarantee that timeout will be executed first or set immediate will be executed first it is like <coughs> different uh, code of uh, there are different codes which is trying to start the timer and put the timeout and also the set emitter also some code is want to insert into message queue so whichever get the priority they will execute first or the set emitter also timer i'll show you an example quickly so if you put set timeout zero there is no guarantee that it will execute first or the set immediate but both both will be lying into the message queue so any one of them can execute but assume let's say in this example I timeout will execute it here and this would be removed from this timeout queue then we have like set immediate then we have removed from here but if you put like some delay here like uh, 10 millisecond or something then the set immediate will be put into the queue first then uh, then this timeout would be the next request so set immediate will be printed and timeout would be next let me show the uh, code looks like this is the same code i explained here a greeting and same code whatever i saw just now if i execute here not this one So if you see <coughs> gm hi this is the main call stack function whichever the code executed the first and foremost next tick will be executed then the job queue or the micro task queue then this timeout and set immediate and there is no guarantee that which will run fast if i run again So at this uh, at this time it is timeout is coming and set out next just to show that example i have written another code so here timeout zero and set immediate immediate is there let me run it <coughs> see in this case immediate come first then timeout See in this case timeout come first then immediate 
so if you do the set timeout zero and set immediate so there is no guarantee that which one will execute fast but there is a catch over here if you try to run again <clears throat> the same code will insert this io cycle or io callback if you're trying to reading a file and you are executing some code and you have the timeout and set immediate here so within an IO cycle the immediate callback is always executed fast so this will be executed always fast then the timeout so I don't know what is the reasoning behind it but this is a bit confusing to me let me execute it immediate is fast immediate callback is fast with this file system then immediate is fast so if you run multiple time also inside a file handling it would be fast but if you execute one by one the order can't be guaranteed and it is not recommended to use like uh, And this set immediate is not a standard process, not a standard function. So it is not recommended to use it. So you can use like set timeout function wherever you need it. Because this method is not expected to become standard. It's only implemented decent build of IE and not just 10 version. And it meets resistance from Firefox and uh, Google you know, WebKit. So it is not widely supported and there are some you know that's why it is a non-standard behavior so do not use in production because the behavior may change in future so hope you understood that uh, concept between various different uh, layer <coughs> like uh, message queue micro is known as macro task job queue micro task and nasty queue Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day and bye-bye.